Hi, it's Kim at the Hypertufa Gardener. And what's happening in the garden today? I'm going to have some boulders delivered and get them set up on the hill. So stay with us and see what happens. Do you care if I film? I have like a little blog and I, I'm going to put this on there. <laughs> That's my husband Jerry, and this is Rick, the Boulder Man. They look good. I like them. We picked out these boulders, Jerry. Okay, now I want to show you the area where I'm going to reduce the size of the garden. It's just open in this area with bare mulch, and it's just really wide. It reaches maybe 10, 20 feet out from the side of the house, and I don't want that. I've planted my hellebore in this area and started a lot of succulents, hens and chicks, and there's some of the hookra that I have. There's some extra boulders tucked up under this bush. I'm not sure the name of that bush. It blooms some purple flowers in the spring. But you can see where the spurge keeps growing here. I pull it, more grows back. And the lawn is pretty weed free right there, but we just gotta get rid of that area. I have my hypertufa pot sitting here in the, at the top of the hill and they're planted up pretty well and are doing real nice on this southern exposure side of the house so I think it would really work out well I'm going to work more here at the top of the hill to reduce all that bare area I don't need it and I don't want it and it's always later so I mean, what's the point of getting the uh, newspaper well, um, Rick is working on getting the rest of the straps undone. So let me show you a little bit about my uh, front garden. The spirea are growing. We've got the cherry tree trimmed. Everything's looking good there. And of course now it's starting to rain a little harder. It's bound to happen. But look how nice the boulders look. They're really, really nice big large boulders. They're probably about 75 to 100 pounds or more each. And I think they're gonna do fine for the yard. Sorry, my big umbrella keeps getting in the way. I'm trying to make sure that my camera doesn't get rained on. Now, Rick has a, I'm not sure what you call those things, a dolly or a hand cart. These are like giant heavy duty ones. It looks like they'll hold a big barrel. But he's alone and by himself. And I am assuming he's confident enough that he can do this. He's got the little um, tracks lined up so that it'll come down real easily for him. And I guess in our case, for our boulders, the trick is going to be going down the hill and keeping your footing on this wet grass. He said he didn't mind the wet grass. He's got those heavy boots. But when he gets down the hill, it's the weight of that stone that's really gonna be hard. But he's a trooper, and you can see how he can control it pretty well these lower rocks that worry me. Yeah, the hill's you know, a little as a slippery, isn't it? You don't want to see anybody get hurt. <gasps> oh! The rock rolls away a little bit. That was kind of scary. But he just kind of grabs it and rolls it on back up the hill. Our base is that large boulder that I showed you at the end. So... I think it's going to work out really well for us. 
That looks good. If, and if they don't quite touch, you know, we've got some smaller rocks that we can build in behind, like in amongst it and stuff, and fill in the gaps. Okay. Here, I can get rid of the... Now it starts a little bit harder. I hear it a little bit harder now. Let me get this. Hose pulled up. Move that because we do have our hose connection next to the. I forget the name, I'll have to put that at the top. And we may move these, relocate these. That's my sedum sexangulaire that's in bloom. And I think this was my, I forget, the pinks have already come and gone. Well, the blooms, I should say. Wow. You might guess. I'm not really sure. That's heavy. There's no way, Jerry, that you could have done this with your back. And I don't think my husband's, or my daughter's husband would be interested in doing it. <gasps> oh, are you okay? gonna look really good. That is a rock, so I don't think we're about washing down the hill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cherry, this is gonna work out better. You can mow around here and there's no weed bed for me to have to keep cleaning out. I can't maintain what we've got, much less add this. Well, is this the worst place you've ever done? <laughs> I think they look good and they blend real well with the others that are there. So it's working out. I think these will all settle in and into that mulch and once the grass grows in, it'll be solid. I think it's gonna look good. I really do. And once I fill that in and get the sedum to grow in through there and let the hens and chicks just populate inside, it's gonna look good. I think it'd be better to come up on this side of the pile. Yeah. Like right there, then they can roll it down. Would, do you think it might roll on down the hill? Better getting away from him. Better being the right one down the hill, I guess. Yep. 
Well, I want you to slide down. Good the... rock supervisor, you're hired. <laughs> yeah. He could be the rock helper man. Rock supervisor. That wasn't that good. It's too 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 done. It looks good. I like it. It's going to be perfect. I'm at the bottom of the hill again. A little sprig of Angelina growing through the rocks. I poked that in there into that retaining wall. I think I'm going to poke a lot more in there too. I really like the way this is going to look. I'm pleased with it. I think it was well worth the investment. And I guess I better get away from the bottom of the hill where the boulders are coming down. <laughs> anybody look at your blog? Does anybody look at it? Look at it? Yeah. It it's all public. I hopefully can have this ready in the next few days. <gasps> I'll tell Joe when he gets up. Joe, can you rearrange these for me? <laughs> he'll die. Joe, my daughter's husband. Yeah, I think he'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, where do you want to make it? Yeah. Don't keep me happy. I like to tease Joe really bad. I'm bad that way too. My wife said, you ever going to change? I said, how long have we been married? 46 years. How about changing? How about changing? I can imagine that sucker probably weighed four or five Brad, tons. Brad used a crane. He had a tree business then. He had a crane. Yeah. He sent so the crane. But he, he, the guy sold to his buddy so he could still use it. What do you think, Jerry? And yeah. you won't have enough room for the other rock, don't think. Yeah. I think so. I made it up pretty good. Well, that works out good. One more. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? See this, all this underneath has been so mulched so much, it's just mud. Oh no. So all of this getting crunched out of here will be good. Excuse me. There's no excuse for you, Jerry. Get the hell out of the way. Like oh. Two Yeah. A lot of times they're buried down. That's gonna work perfectly. Hey, we we estimated pretty good. I say you couldn't ask no better. Now. Yeah. And I've got some of these little small filler rocks all around. I can just fill in the little crevices. And we'll be good. I think they look real fine. Yeah. I like it. And there's that much more weeding I don't have to do. 
at least until the grass grows back in. That looks good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the trip today, having our boulders all set up. It really turned out well, and I love the outcome. Be sure to watch another video, and don't forget to leave a comment and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of what happens in my garden each day. Thanks for watching.